Welcome to Pure Fishing TV. My name is Adam Reuter and for the next few moments we're going to be talking about Berkeley Gulp Alive Salmon Eggs. Now trout as a species take quite a few months to spawn so before the close season kicks in you can really tap into their hungry aggressive nature by feeding them something that they find naturally in the stream. As trout are spawning upstream they dislodge eggs and come down. These little guys are easy to see, they're 100% protein, and fish, well, especially trout, they love them. Let me show you how to use them. All right, well, this is just the sort of spot that you want to cast this type of rig. You can see we've got a riffle upstream, it runs hard up against that bank, that cuts away at that bank and gives us a nice deep pool on the other side. Fish will hold there, waiting to swim upstream. Okay, so we want to cast it up into the, the head of the pool and then work it back down. You have to keep in contact with this rig, okay? You need to basically wind it back through the water. Yes, it's all better if it's gonna be able to drift down by itself and look more natural, but we don't really have that, uh, that ability here in this fairly slow moving water. This is a very small stream, of course. Okay, so we cast it up into the likely looking place and then just not too much rod action, you don't want to give it any hops, but you know, if you want to put a couple of little jerks in it, that won't matter. And just wind it back at a, a little bit faster than the pace of the water. That's the important bit. Now I've got that, that rig, that single rig on, the water's fairly clear. No need to go for two or three eggs, one single egg should do it. And I've got those three split shot uh, on that little piece of tag line in case I get snagged on the bottom. And it's just a matter of repeatedly casting into the same spot. Oh, there's a bit of a rock there on the bottom. Oh, and there's a proper snag. Can I get it off? Yes, I've got it off. I probably lost a split shot then, but that's all right. I can still feel there's still some there. And my egg is still there. And that's, that's really all you need to do is just continuously work the water and make sure that you're, make sure that you're, you're casting everywhere and not just in these deep pools. Make sure you run it through the runs as well. Just as you're walking upstream, just keep it casting. It is still important that this egg rig keeps close to the bottom. You just want to touch first time, make sure you've touched the bottom and then sort of keep pace with the flow of the water and just keep that egg bouncing across all of the stones. That's the important part. You want to keep it as close to the bottom as you can because these fish during the day are going to be pretty hard up on the bottom. Okay, now we're going to have a look at a couple of ways that you can uh, rig the, the Gulp Alive Salmon Egg here. Um, now, they come uh, a little bit strung at times in, in sort of threes and fours and fives like this. So you just want to uh, you know, pull one of those off. Um, if you need two, obviously pull two. Now I have fished them um, with that joining in there uh, just by sticking a single hook as we're going to do in a minute. Um, it does work. Um, that's actually quite strong enough. You can cast that repeatedly, but uh, after a certain amount of time it does become a little bit... Um, uh, looser and easier to pull off so um, yeah be wary you can fish them uh, joined like this in a, in a string even if you uh, if you wanted to you know if you had a few like you wanted to fish three in a row you can just stick your hook in the first one and uh, and string these other two uh, along behind not a bad way to go especially if the water's a little bit uh, dirtier uh, or if you're even fishing in a lake situation where you just want that, that visibility from further away but anyway we've got a few there screw the lid back on him um, they come in a packet as well, not just the jars, they come in a pack as well. I like the jars, they're just, you know, easier to control. Uh, you screw the lid on, you're good to go, and obviously you get heaps of them, so that always makes me smile. Now, um, my preferred line for, uh, my preferred leader for doing this type of business is, um, is sort of three, four, or five pound. Um, I, I try to use a fluorocarbon, this is uh, Fluorocarbon Sensei by Berkeley here. Uh, and my main line in that situation when, when I'm fishing the, the eggs is a, a polyethylene fibre line uh, simply because it floats so it keeps uh, up above all of the gravel and, and the rocks and doesn't get caught up as much because it is you know, floating close to the surface or actually in or on the surface film. 
um, stream microfuse in three pound. You could also use uh, nanofill in four pound. Uh, you know, either 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 of those two lines, and you're going to be in business. But uh, for the leader department, um, I, I like to use as light a leader as I can. So this would be three pound. This is be something that I would use uh, as a leader on that line to fish this egg system. Now, being that you can't see this line. <laughs> I'm going to change it up. I'm going to make it uh, nice and easy for you to see. So I'm going to grab some braid. That way you can see what I'm doing. Otherwise you're going to have uh, two, two hopes, Buckley's and none, of seeing what I'm up to. So uh, we'll just get rid of that for now. So I'm going to be tying my rigs in braid. Keep in mind you don't want to fish them tied in braid. Okay, so um, for, the, for the rig that I was using, um, what we will want to do is is get about uh, sort of 15 to 20 centimeters of line in a loop. Okay, so just double it up, form a large loop, and then come up to this end and form a small loop and then pass the tag in through the loop four or five times. Okay, that's going to create a dropper loop. It's a fairly common knot. Three, four, five, I think that was. And then pull it all down and obviously cut off your tag end. Okay. Now, so coming off the bottom of our leader, we now have this rather large loop. Okay, so what we need to do with that now is cut the loop halfway down one side. So hack it down halfway down one side. And now we're gonna tie the hook onto the long end. Okay, now for running a single egg, I like this guy, a size 10 own a mosquito hook. Okay, I think they're, they're a beautiful fine gauge hook, short shank, offset, wide gate. They fit the egg perfectly. So we tie this guy just uh, onto the, the, longer, the longer stretch of line coming off the bottom of that loop now. Uh, keeping in mind this is fairly heavy braid so I can't do as many uh, turns as I normally would. Pull that up, pull it down, I'll chop the tag end off just because we can my very rusty old owner scissors. You reckon I'd get a new pair? Probably should, you know. Anyhow, close enough. So our hook is on to our line and we have this strange little tag end here. This half the length of this here. Okay, so that's where our split shot's going to live. Okay, I like to use split shot as opposed to a sinker up the line because it, it, uh, it does a couple of things and you just crimp your split shot on with a pair of pliers or preferably don't use your teeth because that means you need to put lead in your mouth. So just crimp them on with a pair of pliers or your fingers or whatever you can whatever you can get a hold of there. I'll put three on. I think I was fishing three a second ago. Three or four. Whatever the, the weight that you need in the size of the split shot you, you have to cast the distance. Okay, so there, if I move all of this rigmarole out of the way, you can see what I've got going on there. I've got my, my hook here, the line, the knot, and then the shorter end of the line with three split shot on it. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to come down the river with the split shot on the bottom. Now, if you look closely uh, at these jars in French, on the lid, no, not really. If you look on the website, it'll say that they float. So these little guys actually float, which is awesome. So that keeps your hook well off the bottom. Okay, and we just need to, on one side, just snick about a quarter of the egg uh, up onto the hook like that. So now this is drifting down in the current and our egg is floating up off the bottom just looking, uh, you know, like an egg that's wandering down the stream in its sort of neutral, buoyancy fashion, if you like. Now, why the split shot and why the tagging? Well, what's going to happen is eventually your split shot are going to come against a rock, and the rock is going to grab one or two or all of your split shot, and you're going to get snagged. Now, that single tag of line there, that allows you now to pull the split shot off that's snagged and retrieve your rig. So you get your rig back, you get your line, you get your hook, you get your bait, you might have lost one split shot or all of your split shot. They're easy to, uh, to reattach to the line 
and um, you know they don't cost uh, hardly as much uh, time or effort or money as replacing the entire rig. So that little single piece of line just allows the split shot to when they get snagged in, the, in between rocks, it just allows them to be to be pulled off, and you can retrieve your rig. Now, as I said before, sometimes you might want to fish more than just one egg on a hook. Sometimes you can fish two or three, depending on, on what your situation is. Uh, and in that, uh, that department, I'd like to use a hook that's maybe got a slightly longer shank or that has some slices on the, on the shank here. Uh, for this, I like to use the uh, owner uh, worm SPBH or just a, an owner worm hook. It's red in colour, so it sort of blends in a little bit better. And, uh, and all you need to do with these guys is just, again, just in the, in the back quarter and just pass it up. Now that would be passed up onto the line and then I'd add, I'd add another one and slide it up as well. So you're sort of, uh, you're keeping, you're keeping the, um, the gate free. Okay, you're keeping the gate relatively free. They are incredibly soft and squishy, so uh, you know, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is um, is they're going to fold away from the um, from the gape anyway, and, and you're still going to get a good hook set. But that's not a bad hook to run um, three or more. And obviously, they come in in greater sizes than a 12. You could use a 10 or a, even an 8 to pile even more of these great little um, gold alive salmon eggs on, onto one hook. Well, they sure are amazing little things. Check them out in your local tackle store. They come in fluorescent orange like this one, fluorescent yellow and fluorescent red. For more information, check berkeley-fishing.com.au.